Hey honeys, how are you? It's your girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the new, kind of new, Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette. I do own her Latte and Lemonade palettes. This is what the Latte, oh, it's upside down. This is what the Latte palette looks like, and this is what the Lemonade palette looks like. This Latte palette has like a uh, coppery penny type of packaging, and it's smooth. This is what the palette packaging looks like. I think it's very pretty designed, but I don't like how the white gets really dirty. This is my Jaclyn Hill palette and it has like a lamination, I guess, on top of the cardboard or whatever it is. I don't know about packaging, so I'm just guessing here. But the point is, is that it you can clean it. This one, however, mine is stained. You can see right here that there are some stains and you can also see it on the back. This is what it looks like on the inside. You get a very nice mirror and 10 shades. So you have three shimmer shades and math, seven mattes. This palette is very, very nice. I believe it costs $42? Yep, it is $42 on Sephora. You can get Dominique Cosmetics from Sephora, by the way. So far, I believe she only has three palettes, four lip glosses, and two liquid lipsticks. And the lip glosses came with the Lemonade collection. This one is gold, and when you feel it, it's not smooth like this one is. She described it as the outside of a lemon texture, and that's a very good description. This is what the palette's packaging looks like. It's pink and yellow. Packaging is a little bit different for the name, at least. This says Dominique Latte Palette. And this one says Lemonade Dominique Cosmetics. Initially, I thought the palette was okay, but honestly, I, I hate it. <laughs> this palette is not the same quality as the Latte palette. The mattes in here are fantastic. And this shade, what is it called? Lemon Soda and the shades Blueberry Fizz. Those two are very good, but then the shades Pink Lemonade, Strawberry, Peach, and Cucumber, which is the two pinks, these two pinks right here, the peach and the green shade, those shades are terrible. And I got the new palette, but I still don't like the quality on the new palette. I just don't think this palette is worth it. It's also $42. Now finally, for the palette I will be reviewing today, this is the Berries and Cream palette. This one is obviously a little bit bigger. The outside packaging is the same. Um, it does have a little bit of texture and this one is a lot more reflective than the other ones are. And this one is like a lavenderish color. The Lemonade and Latte palette are the exact same size but this one has a little bit bigger and that is because instead of 10 shades you get 12 shades in this palette. Now the packaging always is fantastic on Dominique Cosmetics. This one is like laminated, I guess, like the Jaclyn Hill palette. So you can clean it if it does get dirty. It's like an ombre. Another thing they changed is the pan shape. This is an octagon and the other ones are round. This palette and the lemonade palette both have the same amount of product in each pan. It is 1.4 grams, but in the latte palette, each pan has 1.8 grams. This palette also costs 44 instead of 42 and I'm going to assume that's because of the two uh, extra pans that you get. They also changed the shape of the mirror. It is in that hexagon shape as well, while in the other two palettes it's rectangular. This is a very, very good quality mirror. Also, the, pa the palette is pretty massive. I mean, it's bigger than my head, but it's not that heavy and I really like that about this palette. These are the colors you get. The first shade we have is Warm Pie, and this is a beautiful burgundy shade with some golden glitter in it. If you really pack it on, you can see the gold glitter in it. The next shade we have is Chocolate Mousse, which is a beautiful deep brown color. It is super pigmented. I love this brown, and I'm not a huge fan of browns, but do you see that? That is so pigmented. Next we have the shade Sweet Cream, and I thought this was going to be a completely matte shade, but it is not. It is kind of satiny, and this is a light 
pink. You can't really tell on camera. It looks, uh, you can kind of tell that it's like a baby pink color. So that is Sweet Cream. Next we have the shade Toasted, which is just a taupey color. I'm not a huge fan of cool tones, but this one is very pretty. Next we have the shade Bittersweet. This one is matte. That is Bittersweet. Next shade is another matte. This is Soft and Sweet, and it is just a really pretty... I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like orangey and pinky, but it's a light brown. It's almost got a peachiness to it. Next we have the shade Honey Dipped. Now, I only dipped my finger in this once, and look at this. Oh my gosh, yes! So next we have another shimmer, and this is called Sugar Cookie. This is kind of like the shimmery version of Sweet Cream. It is a light pink. It looks more white than it does pink, but it's definitely not white. Next we have the shade Cranberry, which is the final shimmery shade. Now I want you guys to see this swatch too. Here it is. I only dipped in it once. My hand is starting to get raw, so I'm just going to lack glass. <laughs> I'm just going to swatch the last three shades next to each other. Blueberry Muffin, which is a beautiful navy blue shade. Cherry Juice, which is a nice deep reddish brown. And last we have Blackberry, which is a matte black. This is Blueberry Muffin, that's Cherry Juice, and that's Blackberry. Those were all the swatches. This palette is cruelty free, but it is not vegan. It does contain carmine. I love the formula of the shadows in this palette. I cannot lie, I was super concerned about this palette after my bad experiences with this palette because the shimmers in this palette are not good. No matter how much I wanted to like this palette, the shimmers were not great. And it's a beautiful palette. I mean, the color scheme is beautiful. I was concerned that this one was gonna suck. It is a very beautiful palette. I'm not disappointed. I will say some of the shades do stain a little bit. And I will also say that some of them do not blend perfectly. Like, you have to really work with the shadows, the mattes at least, because there are like, seven true mattes. Uh, sweet cream looks like a matte. I don't remember if Kristen called it a matte, but I would say it's a satin. And then honey dipped sugar cookie and cranberry are like foiled shades. And then warm pie is like a, it's a matte, but it's infused with glitter. So I would not say that's a matte. It's honestly mostly the shades bittersweet and cherry juice that are the most difficult to blend. Uh, cherry juice isn't as bad as bittersweet, but it it's because it's purple. Purples are really hard to formulate. I still think these are the best um, shadows of this tone that I've ever used. I've never come across a really nice purple. Is it unique? Not really. I do think that the one shade in here that is unique is Warm Pie, but other than that, these colors are not that unique, but the formula is so nice. There were two liquid lipsticks. There was a pink and a purple, and I do have the purple. This is called Plumberry, and the pink one is called Creamy Pink. This is probably the best liquid lipstick I've ever put on my lips. I really should put it on, but this is gonna be a pain to take off. Purples usually do stain my lips, this did stain my lips, but it was very easy to take off. This is the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have ever worn. This is such a beautiful formula. It was not patchy either. A lot of times, I love purple lipstick, and a lot of times purple lipsticks are super patchy. It smells like buttercream frosting. It reminds me of the Soft Matte Lip Creams by NYX. The only thing I will say is I'm a little scared of this stopper. I feel like the stopper's too tight for the wand. And I would just yank it out like that, but it is purple and I'm always scared of it splattering everywhere. But this is a beautiful liquid lipstick. So this collection gets a 10 out of 10 in my book. I love it. So I do have a demo, but it is not the look that I have on my eyes. If you want to see this look, stay tuned for my three looks, one palette. The look that I have for this video, I filmed and I forgot to record myself doing my mascara, but I do have a picture of it from when it was finished. If you'd like to see a look using the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette, then just keep on watching. 
First, I'm going to be taking the shade Soft and Sweet, and I'm just going to be buffing that in my crease. This color does have to be built up for it to show up on my skin tone, but it doesn't have to be built up that much. Next, I take the shade Cherry Juice, and I apply that in the crease as well, but a little bit lower than that first color. Next, I take Soft and Sweet again, and I just build it up and blend it up a little bit. Blend it up. <laughs> blend it out, I mean. And then I do the same thing with Cherry Juice. Next, I took the shade Blueberry Muffin, and I'm going to be doing a halo eye, so I applied that to the inner and outer thirds of my eye with a flat brush. Next, I took the shade Cherry Juice again, and I'm just using that to blend the Blueberry Muffin shade. Now I'm re-intensifying Blueberry Muffin, and I actually just went back and forth with both of these shades about four times until they got the nice blend I wanted, but I did do some of it off camera just to save time. For the center of my lid, I picked the shade Warm Pie, but once I put it on, I wasn't really digging how it looked with Blueberry Muffin, so I actually topped it off with Honey Dip, but then I felt like it was too gold, indecisive, I know, so I decided to top it off with just a little bit of Warm Pie. For my inner corner highlight, I used the shade Sugar Cookie, and I just applied that with my finger. And for my brow bone, I used the shade Sweet Cream. For my waterline, I used the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Deep Blue, and I also tight lined with this. To draw my wing, I used the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Electric Blue. After that, I used the shade Cranberry from the palette, and I used that to line my lower lash line. Then I put mascara on off camera. I'm really sorry I don't have a clip of the final look, but this is pretty much what the final look looked like. Just imagine that I have mascara on. Alright guys, so that was the demo, and that is it for this review. I love this collection. I don't remember if I said it, but the liquid lipstick was $18. I am very, very impressed with this collection. I am very looking forward to what Dominique Cosmetics has next. I am very happy with this collection, and I would totally recommend it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay golden!